thanks for watching thanks for tuning in guys um in this video so discuss our question seven it's a question on our acid and basis for this question paper ga november 2019 in the description below uzo tola ma link for amanya ama questions and what record for this question paper so lana so discuss only question seven but he get a hydrogen bromide solution reacts with water according to the following balanced chemical equation this is the reaction basically the ka value of hydrogen bromide solution at standard temperature is one times 10 to exponent nine so you have the ka value is bigger than one or greater than one so it means this acid here to lana it ionizes completely so that makes it a strong acid right when ka is less than one it's simply the opposite so you want a weak acid 7.1 is hydrogen bromide a strong acid or weak acid give a reason for your answer 7.1 yes in a strong acid la why it's because of the ka value is bigger than one it ionizes completely spawning on ka value 7.2 write down the formula the formulae of the two bases in the above reaction so since the reaction is irreversible in the forward reactions you have this water molecule it receives a proton to form a hydronium ion so that makes it a base that makes amanzi our base the first base and then in the reverse reaction the hydronium ion it donates a proton or a hydrogen ion to this bromine ion to form this acid molecule so therefore see about it okay so now two am base in the forward reaction as well as the reverse reaction so 7.2 it's hydrogen oxide or water and bromine ion 7.3 now the hydrogen bromide reacts with zinc zinc hydroxide according to the following balanced equation so now go get sine zinc hydro uh, hydroxide sine zinc hydroxide the reactant acid so it's a base versus a acid right and then form a gallama products now then an unknown quantity of zinc hydroxide is reacted with 90 cubic centimeters of the acid in a flask assume that the volume of the solution does not change during the reaction right so the zinc plus the hydronium sorry the zinc plus the acid naswa react here the total volume doesn't change during the reaction so there's no loss of the ama products or ama reactants right and then basically the excess yes the excess the excess hydro hydrogen bromide is then neutralized by by a 16.5 cubic centimeter sodium hydroxide it's a strong base of concentration the balanced equation for the reaction is this right okay we had a we had an initial reaction see when a reaction it's this one right so this doesn't react completely but this gets used up completely which makes it our limiting reagent so lena na lena it got reactor some of a hydrogen bromide stays behind so whatever is in excess is used for the second reaction right so for the second reaction but 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 acid binds and by neutralizer using this base now 7.3.1 but to calculate the ph of the hydro hydrogen bromide solution remaining in the flask after the reaction of zinc so log oxel lana kule zinc hydronium zinc hydro hydroxide zinc hydroxide okay the zinc hydroxide with e 
ye acid ye tu. This in excess, as funo gwa azguti, the excess hydro, uh, hydrogen bromide, right? In a pH in gagana, right? So, in order to calculate the pH, zoti mo gwa azguti, how much of the excess, gusgu, gusele e i ilogai, i substance in gagana ni, after the two has reacted, before we can calculate the pH, right? So, since basi pay information for, for basi pay more in information for the second reaction. So, seven are the second reaction to find the excess hydrogen bromide. Okay, guess. So, lagu 7.3.1. Alright, guess. So, the pH is calculated as minus log um minus log of ama e concentration of ama hydronium ions right so tinas funa the concentration of the hydronium ions so atola ganjani by finding the concentration of the excess hydrogen bromide right so in order to do that sizofuno go as with the uh what is the number of moles of ilogange of e, e hydrogen e hydrogen bromide which took part in this reaction right so lana basipe ini basipe the concentration of e, e, e sodium hydroxide as well as the volume so therefore we can calculate the number of moles for e sodium hydroxide gal right and then use the stoichiometry to find the excess hydro hydrogen bromide so, so for now the reacted amount of sodium hydroxide. So, since PCP concentration as well as the volume, I can calculate the number of moles using this formula. The number of moles is equal to concentration times volume. So, see a substitute. The concentration is given as 0 0.5. The volume is 16.5. And the 16.5 is in cubic centimeters meaning ama ama cubic decimeter so by dividing by a thousand la i get to 0 0.0165 right now multiply and taller this value this is what i get so this is the value in tolayo these are the number of moles for a sodium hydroxide now let's calculate the number of moles for ilogang e Ilogange, e hydrogen bromide, which took part in this reaction. And then the number of moles is your toll, it's the excess hydrogen bromide. So, since I guess, check the mole ratio. So, the mole ratio between the hydrogen bromide, the hydrogen bromide to the sodium hydroxide is, in fact, one to one by just looking at the chemical equation yeah when it's one mole it react on a one mole so therefore it means if in a 0 0.00825 i will also need 0 0.0025 moles of any of a hydrogen bromide for every one mole of hydrogen bromide that reacts I need one mole of sodium hydroxide to take part in the reaction, right? So therefore, saying the number of moles for a hydrogen bromide. Now I can calculate ilogange. I can calculate the concentration to find a pH here, How do I do that? Isoti, uh, C, which is the concentration for a hydrogen bromide is equal to um what's this it's mole per, it's it's n over v divided by the number of moles is 0 0.00825 divided by the volume the volume yellow gang yeah, hydrogen bromide it's this it's this 90 right it's this 90 uh, so Larag is about 0, 0,09 divided by 1000. Remember, divided by 1000, we only deal with our cubic decimeter. So our answer is about 0, 0, 
825 divided by 0, 0,09 equal to so this is the concentration 0, comma, the 0, comma, 0, 0,092 in three in three decimal places yeah a mole per per cubic decimeters now the pH pH here it is over equal to uh, minus log in brackets in brackets go over one go about zero comma zero nine two so therefore the pH is equal to let's calculate about minus log was log zero comma zero nine two equal to one point one point zero four or three six in thirty decimal places yes three six so EPH I number units is just a number is combisa the strength of our acids or our bases right so therefore this is our ph and it shows with the ph way to less than money seven so therefore it means look out oh hydrogen bromide is a acid right okay now so since i go 7.3.2 calculate the mass of zinc hydroxide initially present in the flask if the initial concentration of hydrogen bromide was 0 0.45 okay now 7.3.2 all right um since i'm given ilogansh initial concentration of hydrogen bromide as 0 0.045 and the soyens how about c c calculator the initial amount of e hydrogen bromide right remember so seven stoichiometry again ala mfuna the reacted amount of e hydrogen bromide keyword reacted amount of any of e hydrogen bromide because the, the hydrogen bromide it's the one in excess with google reaction lane right zinc hydrogen oxide is is what is the limiting reagent so the excess the one in excess in order with this toilet the, the the amount for the limiting reagent things what thing are the reacted amount for the limiting sorry for the, the the one in excess i'm given the initial values i just calculated the excess amount so the difference between the initial and the excess in niggas are the reacted amount so in the soyens are the lana so calculator the reacted amount for hydrogen bromide but first quick reminder uh, the number of moles in excess on the previous questions were calculated 0 0.00825 now so calculator the initial amount of a hydrogen bromide uh, so the number of moles will be calculated as c times v a uh, substitution 0 0.45 is the concentration for hydrogen bromide initially and then the volume i change it's given as 90 but this is seven zanama cubic decimeters divide by a thousand to allow 0 0.09 our answer becomes 0 0.0405 as the number of moles for the initial amount of e hydrogen bromide now tina's funa the reacted amount of your hydrogen bromide which is the difference between uh, the reacted amount which is the difference between the initial amount this one as well as the excess amount so the difference between the two is let's calculate it's 0 0.0 uh, 405 minus 0 0.00825 our answer is 0 0.322 yes uh, 0 point 0 point 0 
What's happening? Okay. Zero, three, two. How about here? Gila, we try the small places. Moles for any hydrogen bromide. So I'm gonna leave it at three decimal places. Okay. So this is the reacted amount again. Okay. Now we can calculate the amount of e zinc hydroxide a a react here as well. So check out the much. So tiny so seven six stoichiometry again okay, now. So see I've got as a ratio of one to one. There's a one to one ratio. Wait, 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 wait. There's a one to two. One to two ratio between E zinc hydroxide as well as E, e hydrogen bromide. So there's a one to two ratio. But mina mina nige. Mina initial amount. Oh sorry. The reacted amount of E hydrogen bromide is zero comma zero. 3,2 mean I'm for another in the reacted amount of his zinc hydroxide which is also the initial amount of over a limiting reagent it gets used up completely during the reaction cross multiply then we solve for X about 2x equal to um, 1 times it's 0 comma 0 3 2 divide by 2 divide by 2 x is equal to zero comma zero three two divided by two is zero sixteen ish zero comma one six moles zero comma one six zero comma zero one six moles so therefore the amount of zinc uh, but is it all? Oh, so let's calculate the mass, not the number of moles. I mean, I think it is deal. So for now, the mass. So therefore, the mass for e zinc is over equal to molar mass times molar mass times the number of moles. So this is going to be equal to the molar mass for e zinc hydroxide is. Uh, is going to be I think going to be periodic table you know? okay 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 all right so Lana is OT 99 now at a uh, immolar mass for zinc oxygen and hydrogen so it's two times one two times 16 plus zinc in the gas of 99 multiplied by 0, 0,016 so final answer is over equal to 99 times 0, 0,016 equal to 1 1.5 1.58 1.58 in two decimal places so this is our answer uh, grams this is our final answer this is the initial amount of zinc hydroxide which was present in the flask uh, so yeah thanks for tuning in thanks for watching now we enjoy this video please leave a like uh, if you're new to this channel please please consider subscribing once again thanks for watching in the description on a course now my link for my video for this question paper November 2019. Bye bye. Aspona neglect video landelai.